You're watching Tay. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages, and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr was celebrated by Muslims all across the globe. Also known as Meeti Eid, the festival is observed on the first day of the Islamic month of Shawwal, the next after Ramadan. In India too, the festival was celebrated with great religious fervor after the long pandemic break. Take a look. Festivals in India are all about merrymaking, traditions, feasting and celebrating the very sense of life itself. The Islamic festival of Eid al-Fitr is all about forgetting the past and is staying grounded and humble with everyone. The festival literally translates to feast of breaking the past and is celebrated at the end of the fasting month of Ramadan, the ninth month of Islamic lunar calendar. This year, after the long pandemic break, the festival was celebrated with great zeal and religious fervor all around the country. आज हमारा पूरा देश हमारा अलीगढ़ उत्तर प्रदेश बड़े ही हर्षोल्लास के साथ ये पावन पर ईद उल फित्र मना रहा है मैं तमाम देशवासियों को आज के दिन ईद की बधाई दे बधाई देता हूं कि सब खुशहाल रहें देश में अमन अमान कायम रहे Muslims across the country gathered in mosques for prayers to offer the last namaz of the holy month of Ramadan In New Delhi's iconic Jama Mosque Hundreds of devotees started gathering from the morning to offer namaz. People embraced each other and exchanged Eid greetings after the prayers. With emphasis being on food, people enjoy a spread that consists of sweets, fruits, sherbat and other eatables as a mark of the celebration. ये बहुत ही लेकिन महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि हमें दो साल से ईद का कि नमाज लेकिन का ये नहीं हुआ है फील नहीं हुआ कि मेहनत करने के लिए आना है और ऊपर से वेदर भी बहुत काफ़ी अच्छा है अभी कल को बारिश था तो हमें ये सोचने आ गया कि ईदगाह में इस बार फिर भी नमाज नहीं होंगे तो ऊपर के दुआ से इन शाह ईद उलफित्र वॉज सेट टू बी ऑरिजिनेटेड बाई प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद According to traditions when the prophet arrived in Medina after migrating from Makkah he noted the locals celebrating two specific days Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha Since the festival doesn't begin until crescent moon is sighted Eid al-Fitr starts and is celebrated on different days in different regions India has left the entire world awestruck with its ability to be home to a number of different religious communities. Examples of this harmonious coexistence are easily seen in different nooks and corners of the country. Showcasing a similar example of communal harmony from Kanpur, where a temple and a mosque have been sharing a common entrance for years. Take a look. On Tuesday morning when devotees thronged the Hanuman temple in Tatmil Chowk of Kanpur the neighboring mosque had Muslims offering namaz on the holy festival of Eid Situated in the heart of the city this scene is a common sight as it gives out loud the message of unity and brotherhood to the locals Ye to Hindu Muslim ekta ki misal hai ki andar aate waqt pehle ek mandir padhta hai uske baad andar masjid hai तो अच्छा लगता है कि कम से कम यहाँ पे लोग आपस में भाईचारा बनाए हुए हैं और युगा को देखते हुए दिस हनुमान टेम्पल एंड मॉस्क एट दिल क्रॉसिंग शेयर ए कॉमन एंड ट्रेंड्स एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ बोथ द कम्युनिटी शेयर एन अनमेस्ट बॉन होमी बिल्ट इन दर नाइनटीन फोर्टी आरती एंड अजान है कम्युनिटीज हंड्रेड ईयर्स गो Both the Hindus and the Muslims came together at this place to pray. Since then, devotees from both the communities have been coming here to pay their obeisances. 
ये तो विगत काफ़ी पैंतीस चालीस साल से हमें ज़्यादा मगर मैं यहाँ आया हूँ पंद्रह साल से करीब पंद्रह साल तब से तो मैं यहाँ रह ही रहा हूँ रहता हूँ और किसी ने आज तक कोई एतराज़ नहीं किया क्या करना जब हमारा काम हो रहा है तो मैं क्या करने की तैयारी करेंगे भाई यार धर्म अलग अलग मानने का तरीका है आए तो सब एक ही को मानने वाले हैं हैं आना जाना तो एक ही के पास सबका मतलब क्या क्या समझदारी का है ये काम Examples like these could be seen in every nook and corner of the country which are a show of the unbreakable bond of unity and brotherhood that prevails across the length and breadth of the country. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood actress Kangana Ranaut along with cast and crew launched the trailer of her upcoming action thriller film Dhakad in India's western Mumbai city. For me it was not so much about particularly an action film ki mujhe action hi film karna hai. It was simply about ki jitni variety ek hero ek ek lifetime mein karta hai. Ab kisi bhi hero ka naam utha ke le lijiye na. चाहे हमारे जो भी कामयाब हीरो हैं चाहे मिस्टर बच्चन हो गए जो भी हो गए वो अपनी लाइफ टाइम में जितनी वैरायटी ऑफ रोल्स करते हैं तो मुझे एक महिला होने पर उतने वैरायटी ऑफ रोल्स क्यों नहीं मिल सकते हमेशा ही मुझे एक वाइफ या गर्लफ्रेंड ही क्यों मिले तो ये मेरी एक इतनी सी मेरा विजन था रनौत अकम्पनीड बाई इंडियन एक्टर्स अर्जुन रामपाल एंड दिव्या दत्ता इंटरेक्टेड विद मीडिया पर्सन एंड पोस्ट फॉर फोटोग्राफ्स Directed by Rajneesh Ghai, Dhakar the story revolves around a field agent who is sent on a mission to gather intel and kill a human and arms trafficker. The film is set to hit the theaters on May 20. The Bombay Times Fashion Week hosted in the showbiz capital of Mumbai stole hearts as it featured ethnic attires using fabric made by women weavers. from central madhya pradesh state the creation that showcased of white attires with bright colored embroidery was designed by archana kochar and bollywood actress rakul preet singh walked the ramp as show stopper ha ji to humne bahut sare women weavers ke sath kaam kiya hai फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश और हमने ये फैब्रिक उनसे लेकर के दे वेंट थ्रो वेरी डिफिकल्ट टाइम इन कोविड सो वी एक्चुअली परचेज ऑल आर फैब्रिक फ्रॉम देम एंड वी पुट दिस कलेक्शन टुगेदर दी 2022 लाइनअप ऑफ द फैशन वीक फीचर्ड हैंडलूम क्लोथिंग द फैशन वीक आल्सो सो अदर चैरिटेबल कॉजेस वन सच वाज द इनिशिएटिव टू इंस्पायर कॉल फॉर द वुमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स हु आर डिफरेंटली एबल The Bombay Times Fashion Week was celebrating its 9th edition this year. A food joint selling halim, a traditional stew available during Ramadan, employed hundreds of youths as Muslims observe the holy fasting month of Ramadan. The new hires are mostly college students who work part-time at pista houses as cashiers, supervisors or commission-based salesmen. so for the month of ramzan there are more than 500 to 600 students who work as a part time uh, part time job in our pista house from evening 5 o'clock to night 11 o'clock some are as cashiers some are, some are as uh, supervisors many of them they take halim and they sell it on the commission basis so there are many of the students who are getting benefited the daily fast kept during the month of ramadan is broken at dusk with a spread term iftar And now we will take you to Mangalore city of Karnataka where members of a secular organization had organized an iftar meet to give out loud the message of religious brotherhood. Peaceful coexistence and unity are the primary characteristics of Indian society. It is quite common to see people of different religious communities actively participating and helping each other in different festivals. An example of this was seen in Mangalore city of Karnataka state where an organization of secular thinkers had organized an iftar party to give out loud the message of peace and brotherhood. After studying that entire history what uh, history of the iftar what I thought we have to what uh, give some message to the general public. Uh in a sense we have my idea what uh, I uh, my idea to uh call all uh, uh people from the, all the communities it came to my uh, mind to at least to create some 
harmonious relationship between the among the uh, uh, various communities so i decided to have a unique iftar party Hello. Named as the Sahakara Nyayika Kuta, members of the organization organized the iftar under a banyan tree in the Balmata area of the city. The iftar meet was called Iftar Musinji and was attended by thinkers, orators, religious leaders and more. Religious leaders and thinkers discussed the idea of uniting people from different faiths through this initiative and spreading the message of brotherhood. When they celebrate uh, their own uh, their uh, festival, so we shall participate. We shall participate. Is we need not celebrate that one, but we shall respect. So that this in this kind of. Uh, uh we can create some awareness uh, among the communities so so when we be uh, living together we will be happy so for the uh, we can live peacefully and we can give something to next generation the peaceful property to them it is the collective spirit of unity and brotherhood in indian citizens that makes every festival a beautiful and a grand affair and now we will take you to explore the culture and lifestyle of the rao tribe which is said to be the smallest tribe in the world though settled in manipur since 1075 ad the government of india recognized the rao as an aboriginal tribe of the state only in 2003 today it is also known as the forgotten tribe of manipur since the community is on the verge of extinction have a look confined mainly in the four villages of Tangnopal, Chandel and Ukrul district of Manipur, Tarao tribe is one of the smallest and the least known among the Naga tribes of the state. Known for its distinctive cultural heritage, Tarao tribe is the 31st tribe in the scheduled tribe list of Manipur and is said to have come from erstwhile Burma, now Myanmar. There is no written tradition or culture of the tribe however it has been passed down verbally through folk stories and folk dance from generations Their ancestors believed that at the beginning Tarao people lived in a cave or a hole located at the foot of Haubi hill at the banks of Chinwen river At present its population has gone down to meager 1000 which make it an endangered and marginalized tribe. Their language has already been declared extinct by the UNESCO in 2009. But the government is trying to revitalize it along with several others that are facing extinction. Such minor languages are not officially counted under ministry, but the ministry under Home uh, uh, Education Ministry is trying to promote those small languages under Article 34, okay, Article 350, grievances of any Article 350A, uh, prior uh, okay. made them instruction through their mother language article 350 b in the constitution it was mentioned that there was a the uh, okay, the, the uh, president has the right to nominate language officer for the language minority like the rao so for the government they are trying to best to promote such uh, endangered or extinct languages the process is called revitalization process Mostly dependent on agriculture for their livelihood, Tarao people are also known for their beautiful handicrafts which are mostly made of bamboo and cane and are a source of income for them. Another unique aspect of Tarao tribe is its traditional attires, especially the one worn by women. It includes a beautiful shawl paired up with a shirt which is quite similar to that of men but is slightly shorter in length they also cover their head with a beautiful headgear the shawls that they wear come in various designs and are usually woven and designed by the tarao women themselves in their own local and traditional ways 
Over the years, the members of Tarao tribe have been struggling hard to preserve their identity. The reason being that they fall under a minor group, so wherever they get settled, they are forced to merge with other tribes for their survival. The festivals of Tarao tribe are also unique and are filled with merriment. Being an agrarian community, its main festival is Luingaini, which represents the season of seed sowing and marks the start of the year for Nagas. In addition to it, Tarao tribe also organizes an annual Tarao conference where traditional dances, songs, games and sports are held. Tarao, this was once a very powerful tribe and this was guarding the border of Manipur on the eastern flank. is still surviving in four villages and their population are, is around 1000-1200 and they have their own unique identity, their own culture. And to claim that they are an extinct tribe is uh, incorrect. Mm -hmm. They can be at the most called a threatened tribe because uh, the larger communities are trying to absorb them. But at least in the four villages, uh, they are still uh, surviving. Policy should be there so that they can increase their number by giving incentives to those who have more than three kids so that they are not lost from the face of the earth. Considering the endangered status of the tiny ethnic group, there is immense need to save it from extinction and preserve its culture and traditions. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Water is the theme of this year's light festival in Bresenon in the Italian Alps, which was lit up by 29 light installations. It is the fourth time the city in the Dolomites organized the festival this year, named Water is Life, Light is Art, and the various works of art have been connected by a 3.2 km long blue line, creating an art trail in the old town. Global warning is an extra uh, level about the global warming it's not just only about uh, losing glaciers but also about the warning in the our planet there's the pandemic is the is the war it's about our interference with the planet there is nothing symbiosis but it's an, a kind of a antagonism with the nature you have to be really you have to think about the future we have to think about our future really we, for Survive. <laughs> One of the works is Rafik and Adol's data sculpture Bosphorus, which we created from data taken from the Mediterranean every 30 minutes over the space of a year. And Adol, who has developed algorithms for creating art from data, said he hoped the ocean would remind us to calm down. The festival also features Italian artist Stefano Cagol's global warming instead of global warming installation. On May 16, which is the United Nations International Day of Light, the theme will switch to the importance of light for one week until the festival ends on May 22. Japanese company Yamaha Motors introduced an electric scooter named E01. They also announced that they will start the demonstration experiment in five Asian countries and Europe. E01 is an electric bike that combines motorbike technology and EV technology which is used by Yamaha. この山ハで、あの初めて開発しました。えっと、125cc相当の乗り物というところが大きな特徴になってます。原付きに主相当ですので、あの最高速もですね、ま、およそ 100km ほど出せる性能を持っていますし、え、航続距離も60km の低地性
the targeted countries will have a sharing service or B2B rental services. After the demonstration experiment, Yamaha Motors will obtain driving data of different countries. It will be for manufacturing and development of electric scooters and vehicles in the future. Thousands celebrated the annual traditional April Fair in Seville night after two years of cancellations because of the coronavirus pandemic. Locals were seen dancing Sevillanas, Andalusia's traditional dance and clapping to the sound of music during La Madruga, the traditional kickoff of Seville's Feria de April. Hombre, esperando con mucha ganas, después de dos años con el COVID está parado, tú entiendes lo que conlleva todo esto, ¿no? Y esperando con mucha ganas y este año como tú ves, pues esto está macizo. Yo creo que este año la gente tiene mucha ganas de feria, mucha ganas de feria. The festival, one of southern Spain's most famous, began on Saturday at midnight with the El Embrado, the inaugural moment when the lights of the fairgrounds are switched on. Visitors from all over the world are expected to come to Seville to enjoy a week of partying, dancing and eating. Toyoso area in Tokyo City, the venue for Tokyo Olympics has dramatically developed ever since the Games were organized there. Michino Terrace Toyosu was opened in April. It was constructed and organized by Japanese representative general contractor Shimizu Corporation as the base of Toyosu Smart City. Michino Terrace has office area and hotel area. There are digital modern facilities like robots and autonomous driving vehicles. 新しい働き方があの求められる時代にまあふさわしいオフィスを作ろうということで、えー、丸の内や日本橋とちょっと違うですねあの豊洲エリアはあの水があり緑がありですね非常にあの自然に恵まれたエリアでございますのでまあそういう風と光を感じながらですねあの場合によってはあの屋上の眺めのいいところで仕事をしたりですねあのまあさまざまなワークプレイスですね。テナントさん同士がうまく交流できるような仕組みであるとかですね、そんなことも提案するようなオフィス作りにしております。There are several places to see in Toyosu Smart City like the Tokyo Tower, Sky Tree, Rainbow Bridge and the Bay Area. Toyosu Smart City is designed to provide the best quality of life. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma Jafri, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.